Tuesday at Y254 Channel is where you can find us across all those social media handles. At Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social. In this particular section, we dive into another interview that looks at innovation in digital business. In studio, I'm joined with Fabrice Mugabe, who is the CEO of Mogra EA Limited. Thank you very much for creating time to be with us, Fabrice. Thank you for having me. You look dashing, by the way. Thank you. Happy oh. Tuesday. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank, you so, God, well. thank you very much. So uh, introduce yourself. Uh, who is Fabrice? What do you do? Yeah, uh, my name is Fabrice Mugabe. Mm -hmm. I'm, uh, as, as you mentioned, I'm a founder and CEO of Mogre Limited, mm -hmm. uh, where it's a software company that we deal with uh, software development and digital content uh, creations. All oh, right. Fantastic. So what is your uh, educational background looking like? Uh, not so bad. I'm a degree student. I uh, graduated recently from Zitek University. Mm -hmm. They are where I did IT still. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's, our topic of discussion today is based on innovation in digital uh, business. So what is innovation? Yeah, to me, innovation is uh, a way of converting ideas into mm -hmm. a working market by ideas. Eh? Mm -hmm. When you say market by ideas, it's an idea that anyone can invest in. You might be having an idea, mm -hmm. but as long as it doesn't fit the market, mm -hmm. that ought to be an innovation. All right. And how yeah. important is it for business owners to digitize and have a space in the, you know, in the internet space, that is? Yeah, it is important because eh, uh -huh. we are moving the digital. Uh, like uh, by now we are in 21st century. So you see, mm -hmm. like everything is moving to digital. I remember we didn't used to have phones. Now we are having smartphones. Mm -hmm. So that's the first advantage of moving to uh, digital platforms. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for any person who is watching this conversation and they always admire and desire to get into business, they're always looking for that idea that will, you know, that will stand out, that will be in a point about, that will just be known and just uh, make it in the business world. So how does it, what is the process lo looking like when it comes to the formulation of an idea? Uh, there are a lot, by the way, but I would mention two, mm -hmm. like one, uh, the one that is common is looking ahead. Mm -hmm. By looking ahead, we mean eh, look for a working idea. Mm -hmm. The working idea, I mean eh, the idea that will uh, suit the market. Like uh, there are a lot of people here, in, uh, for example, around this area. Mm -hmm. Now, what are we solving to that people? Mm -hmm. That's one. Two, you mm -hmm. can talk of uh, embrace the failure. Mm -hmm. uh, by embracing, I mean uh, if a failure would come, if a failure would uh, have been a person, mm -hmm. I would give him a hug. Why? Because we learn from our mistakes. Okay. So if you cannot make a mistake, technically you cannot run. So when you, are, when you are moving from analog to digital, and when you want to digitalize your market, mm -hmm. the, definitely you have to face those challenges. All right. Yeah. And how do, we, how do I identify a gap in the market? Uh, by talking to people, that's one way. Because mm -hmm. those people that you talk to, they already are there in the market. Now you are bringing them uh, what you are solving to them. Mm -hmm. So. When you want to catch uh, or to fill that gap, you definitely you need to talk to them and then you cut across your ego. Because there is a way that you might think, uh, I'm thinking this way and other person is, think is thinking that way. The moment you have your thought in mind and that person has another thought in mind, you come and then when you talk to them, you feel like, oh, I can cover this gap. Oh, there's anything that is needed to be done. Now that's how you can embrace that technology. Now you come, you say that uh, if this person is lacking ABC, now how can I uh, use technology to help that person? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that gap. And what does it take to be an inno innovative entrepreneur? Uh, it takes nothing except your time, of course, mm -hmm. patience. Mm -hmm. And again, mm -hmm. it really takes, it needs some later skills. Like uh, <coughs> technological skills, yes. Mm -hmm when you are innovating on technology, mm -hmm. you have a business skills, yes, you have to have a later skills mm -hmm. on business marketing. Yeah, and you also need to have like uh, um, marketing skills eh? because oh. you want to innovate on something that will help people, not you as a person. That's how you should think as an innovator. Like oh, right. the, the solution, what are you bringing to the table that will help this amount of uh, people? All right, and how yeah. can we use uh, the digital uh, space to just increase revenues when it comes to our businesses? Yeah, make make sure you're always updated. Mm -hmm. Or what say uh, this? Like uh, you update your softwares, mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to be always on uh, up to date. Because eh, mm -hmm. today, 
In technology, nothing lasts over three months. Mm -hmm. Today there is this, tomorrow there is that. Oh, new trends coming up every single day. Every single day, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And how can we, uh, when you mentioned something important, which is the fact that when it comes to this uh, businesses and just having a space on the, in the internet world, in the digital space. So how can we increase our, our visibility in this particular uh, space? And uh, take us through this particular <laughs> options that we can go for to increase our visibility in the business. <coughs> I can't say that you can avoid the hackers, mm -hmm. yeah, but there is a way you can uh, avoid for you being hacked. Mm -hmm. That's one way because if I come to your digital platform and find it like their reviews are not good, why would I come to you again? Mm -hmm. So the first thing you need to do, you need to secure your platforms. Mm -hmm. The moment you have secured your platform, of course, you have also secured your uh, people. Mm -hmm. Because in this era, what matters to you a lot is what are we bringing to the people, you see? So I would say first secure your area. Mm -hmm. By securing your area, I mean you secure all your platforms or your anything that you are using to reach the people so that the reviews will be good. If the reviews are bad and comments, definitely you will lose the market. Mm -hmm. So take us what is uh, what is search engine optimization and its role when it comes to just putting my business out there promoting what I do. Yeah, well, uh, search engine optimization. Most of people they know it as SEOs, eh? but what it normally means is eh, the moment you're looking for something, eh, it pops up at first. Sometimes we use it as an ads, uh, those ads that pops up. So like for example, I'm looking for uh, a phone. Uh, if I'm searching a phone, I get an iPhone. That name that came first on top, that's what we call search engine optimization on mm -hmm. any, any search engine that we are having. Uh, by now, we only know Google as a search engine, eh? but there are other search engines mm -hmm. that are maybe, okay, let me not mention <laughs> all of them <laughs> to avoid the two terms. But uh, mm -hmm. so when uh, you are optimizing your searches, mm -hmm. eh, you need to make sure that whatever you're providing is real and the information that you're providing is complete so that people, when they are looking for you, they get to know what you're providing at first sight. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now what determines uh, search engines' uh, rankings? Come again? What determines search engines' rankings? Uh, reviews. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because you have people, like, if you type in a particular name or even a particular brand, yeah. they come up really quick yes. compared to others. So what determines that, the ranks? Yes. Uh, the ranks will depend on the how many people are visiting your website. Mm -hmm and how many people are visiting y your products, eh? mm -hmm. and how often do they buy if you're selling mm -hmm. something online. Eh? For example, if I'm selling this glass, eh, how often do I sell, how people do talk to that, me? how people read me. Interact with the yes. people, whatever you're doing. Mm. Mm -hmm. So make sure your reach is high. There is uh, that what we call reach and hits eh, mm -hmm. on the website. So the moment your hits are high, technically you're on top. Whenever someone is searching for you, mm -hmm. ah, it, you see, like, uh, for example, if you search Mogra Air Limited, mm -hmm. it will top, top up at first mm -hmm. because the rates are high and you normally rate to five. So the more we rate you, the more people rate you, the more it tops up. The more visible you become. The more visible you become. Oh, you right. mentioned something very important when it comes to website. So yeah. mm. uh, who is eligible to own a website? Mm. And uh, yeah, <laughs> let's look at that part. <coughs> uh, it will depend with what you want to own uh -huh. and uh, as long as you're above 18 eh? mm -hmm. in Kenya having an ID you have to be 18 of course so as long as you're above 18 you are eligible to own a website mm -hmm. and again those people who are selling anything can have their websites anyone who is who wants to be visible like in this world you all want to be visible so you can own a website what about business owners who feel like uh, my business does not require a website they become you know a little bit sluggish on that they'll be like uh on location is just fine by me uh this is my advice to them they will stuck to analog still mm -hmm. because they are not moving with the current flow of the world the way we are heading because mm -hmm. like uh, if i want to to do something like if i'm searching for uh, y254 mm -hmm. how do i get to know them I don't know, I've, uh, let's say I've never been here, I want to know about uh, this and this. Eh? So first thing I go and Google to type, where to be found? Oh, these guys are nowhere to be found. Mm -hmm. Now, ah, maybe these are scammers, you see? Mm -hmm. So to avoid that, you need to be visible. So I can tell those guys who are business owners to have websites mm -hmm. uh, and uh, their systems that will be controlling all they are working from. Mm -hmm. 
So and how do I get uh, mentioned and linked to other websites just for easy, uh, you know, again, visibility, what I'm doing, my product and my business just getting out there when it comes to marketing? Uh, <coughs> when it comes to marketing, it's good you mentioned CEOs. Eh? Mm -hmm. That's now where we come in as Mogra. We help you to, to be visible, that is. Mm -hmm. So like, uh, for example, you are doing ABC, you are like uh, I know ladies love the, those nails, eh? like mm -hmm. you are selling those nails. Now what will we do as we Mogra, we shall develop that website for you, mm -hmm. we help you to be visible, and then that's it. Mm -hmm. You are, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. Okay, so what is the biggest mistakes when it comes to digital marketing that you see businesses uh, that are actually coming into, like SMEs, small businesses which are coming just into the game that are making? Fear of starting. Mm -hmm. So they feel like, uh, Oh, if I'm on online, everyone will know what I do. And again, uh, uh, how will I secure my thing? The hackers will also steal my data. Or the, the other, my competitors will do what I do. So that fear led to them not to get started. But the moment when you start in whatever you're doing, definitely you succeed because you have outcome your fear. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so uh, what should one continually, <coughs> why should one continue to invent when it comes to whatever they're doing, even in the digi digital space, if your business is in the, uh, the e-commerce, if you're doing, dealing with e-commerce business. So why should I, you know, consistently be looking out to just uh, reinvent whatever I'm doing? Growth, mm -hmm. wealth, and health. Yeah, uh, by growth I mean, eh, like definitely you want to move from point A to B. You cannot stuck from uh, A. Like it's it's like having a, a kid. Eh? You you would love to see your son or daughter grow from uh, mm -hmm. zero to you know to any other level. So the same case as business. If you don't consistently innovate or mm -hmm. invent in whatever you're doing, mm -hmm. you will stuck to point zero. Mm -hmm. And that case, you not you never grow actually. Mm -hmm. So I even if you're looking for any investors, how would I, why would I invest in your product while you're still at point A, mm -hmm. you see? So that's why we need to always think like an innovator for you to keep on growing. All right. Yeah. Take us to one of your, uh, looking back, one of your innovation that you're really proud of. Uh, I have three, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I would mention two of them. All right. Take us through those two of them. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, my first innovation was on e-health. Mm -hmm. Whereby, uh, just as I said, eh, the challenges makes you innovate. Mm -hmm. I remember when I wanted to travel to coast, eh, I went there without any skills on how to be there. Now when I get there, I got sick. I was like, oh, I wish I knew how the weather was in before. Now when I was coming back, I thought of coming up an application that can be helping people before you travel, it takes you to uh, through the way that uh, hey you are going to this press uh, this press is called kindly carry ABC mm -hmm. like this press is uh, hot kindly do ABC just in case of emergency software will track because to normally uses AI AI is a uh, artificial intelligence so it normally tracks according to the nearby hospitals and then it brings you all the uh, nearby hospitals that will be and some people that will be able to help you just in case of emergency. Mm -hmm. um, I felt like that could be that could solve a lot of the people for for those who are of traveling like me. Again, uh, there is another one, Mogra School. Mm -hmm. I love that one because it's an e-learning platform uh, that you can learn using your phone. Imagine we didn't know that you can learn using your phone nowadays, but uh, of late it's possible. So I came up with that application because of Corona. After Corona hit the f second month, uh, I thought. It, it will last at least for 18 months mm -hmm. for us to get the uh, cure or the vaccine. Mm -hmm. That's how you thought if we are getting that uh, for 18 months at home, what will happen to our mm -hmm. students? What will happen to our kids? So I thought of coming up with that application that will be mm -hmm. helping people to learn online mm -hmm. to their comfort zone. All right. And yeah. what are a couple of businesses that you see that, we, that will you know, develop or come up uh, due to COVID-19? online businesses mm -hmm. because eh, now uh, we are here someone else is outside there uh, what okay for example if you're watching us why would you be watching this show mm -hmm. maybe you could have been in an office doing ABC 
that's the first disadvantage and at the same time it's first mm -hmm. advantage because of covid now we able we are able to learn our other abilities that we didn't know we have so the online businesses i would tell them kindly adapt to the technology because there is no way we are going back to analog no way that one i can assure you we still progress no way we are going back so if you are owning a business or if you are a business owner, kindly adapt to the, to the technology because you have no otherwise. Mm. If not, you're still stuck to point A. Right. And what mm -hmm. is the role of technology when it comes to innovation and also the digital business? Rapid growth. Mm -hmm. That's the first law of technology. Again, um, easy of you getting your customers. Like, uh, if I want to reach you, like, how can I know that you even exist without technology? Maybe I could go to someone and start looking, oh, can I have that? Can I have her number? Where does she work? Oh, like, can I do the this? The bureaucracy you is see? a long process. <laughs> it will take a long process. <laughs> yes. But because of technology, oh, I will dim you. Oh, I will go to WhatsApp then. Mm. Text, hey, I need this and this. Can you can de de deliver? Definitely you will. Mm. But before, I would have, uh, if I want something any cost, I travel, you see, mm -hmm. I've spent a lot of things, you see. Then if I get there, I don't even know whether I get you. Mm -hmm. But because of technology, we are able to chat with people that we, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, we are able to expand our businesses mm -hmm. uh, using technology. All right, what couple mm -hmm. of lessons that you, uh, that you have learned along this particular journey of just starting something of your own, starting your own business, in a, and also, you know, adding value for digital uh, businesses. So what are a couple of lessons that you've learned along the way since 2018? Yeah, uh, I've learned a lot, but uh, I love saying failures, eh? mm -hmm. because eh, I like making mistakes. So the moment you don't collect your mistake, you're not learning anything, as I said earlier. Mm -hmm. So that's the first lesson I learned. Mm -hmm. I, I've also learned that cutting your ego helps a lot, especially when you're in this business things. Like you tell me, ah, this thing doesn't even look good. You feel embarrassed because it's your product. But remember, you're doing things for the people, not for you. Mm -hmm. So the moment you think that you're doing product for you, you feel like, you want to move ahead, you know. Mm -hmm. So the first mi mistake we as developers do, it's when you are developing something like a software, you feel proud of it. But the moment you roll it out, people mm -hmm. tell you, no. Different reaction. This. Yes. Yeah. They say, ah, change this, change this, change this. You feel like, ah. So if you love a customer, similar. the customer, your target uh, market in your mind mm. when creating a product. So you have, before you even do anything, you need to look for first customers. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's the another thing I learned because now you cannot develop something just for fun. No. Mm -hmm. Talk to customers, look for what they need, then come up with something. Not to come up with something and then you go to look Approach for customers. Class. No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so like that's the best way of you know learning. Oh, oh. Best way of learning is actually through failing and yes. Learning to yes. do better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because uh, uh, we normally say experience is a summation of all errors. Mm -hmm. As long as you are able to correct your errors, then you are moving, you are progressing, you all are right. learning. Yeah. So how can people find you across all the social media handles if they want to keep this conversation going and find more about innovation and how they incorporate it to just uh, the digital business? Mm -hmm. I'm not that active on social media. Okay. <laughs> but... Uh, how can, can they reach out for the, to the business, that is? To the business, you can reach out as Mogra EA, mm -hmm. that is uh, on uh, the IG, mm -hmm. Facebook, Mogra EA Limited, uh, Twitter at Mogra EA, uh, number is 0703-916371. Mm -hmm. Okay, repeat that one more last time. 0703-916371. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Fabrice, for creating time to be with us today. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. All right, so that is Fabrice uh, Mugabe, who is the CEO of uh, Mogra, dealing with all matters pertaining to software development. And we were talking about innovation in digital business. So make sure you stay tuned. We have so much coming your way right here on Why in the Morning. And if it's Tuesday, it's Entrepreneurship Tuesday at Y254 Channel is where you can find us across all our social media handles. At Michelle Ashira is where you can find me across all my social. We'll be right back. <laughs>